Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's a Frilici Friday and man, it is so dark outside. Oh my gosh. Usually I'm like going on and on about how great the weather is. Well, today I don't even have like, I don't really have very good overhead lighting in my house. And so I'm like, I know it might feel a little bit dark in here, but we're going to just try to make it as bright and happy as we possibly can. And hopefully, um, I don't know, I'm like, I feel like a storm is going to come through any minute now. So hopefully it's not super loud. Hopefully we don't lose power because we can't be stamping in the dark. Um, the light from this little camera will not do us enough good. So anyway, let's just fingers crossed that um, we don't lose power, right? So hopefully you guys have all had a good like week, couple of weeks. I know I feel like it's been a really long time since I did Facebook Live. So um, last week we had homecoming here at Alma, so that was kind of fun. Um, Lily was on the homecoming court. Hey, Susie. And so she got all dressed up in this beautiful dress. She had heels that were like this high. So pictures of she and I, she's like, I don't know, a whole like head taller than I am in these pictures. She's not really that much taller than me normally, but anyway, it was fun. So she had a great time um, and I had a great time too. I went to the assembly um, during the day on Friday and just kind of got to watch her and all of her friends participate in everything that they had going on for homecoming. So that was lots of fun. So yes, and then I have to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to every single one of you that helped me reach my sales goal. I I think I said this, I don't even know this, that's like totally kind of really against my nature to like ask for help. Like I'm just not, I'm not like good at it. I'm not comfortable. I see other people doing and I think, oh, they make it look so easy. And it's just like something that I have a hard time with. I'm just kind of like, I can do it. I got this. You know, I just, I have a hard time asking for help. So it was like a really big deal for me to put that out there. And I honestly, you guys, I am blown away. I am so humbled. It was like the biggest thing that I felt like when I um, the online orders started coming in after I kind of put my post on um, our Facebook group and emailed about it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I, I like, honestly, I was like, I just couldn't even believe all of the support and love that I was feeling. And, and it made me realize also, you know, as I thought more about it, I'm like, you know, if somebody were to say that to me, you know, hey, I'm working on something, I'm trying to meet this goal, and it's a product or a service or whatever that I love, like, why wouldn't I like want to help that person out, um, you know, put an order in or do what I can to help them reach their goal. So it kind of really made me like rethink like my mentality a little bit too, because I see other people doing and I'm kind of like, oh, I just don't know if I could do that. And I was just you guys, like, like I said, so humbled is like the biggest thing that I, I kept feeling like I was like, Oh my gosh, Oh my gosh, like this, I just was feeling the love from everybody too. So thank you guys so very, very much. I met my goal, I surpassed my goal. I and I will tell you guys too, I kind of backed off on my business a little bit in the past year, year and a half. I, I think it's my kids, um, like Kate is in college now, Lily's in her senior year of high school. And I just am like, I want to spend as much time with them as I possibly can. I know, you know, they're becoming adults and getting out and doing their own thing or going to be. And, you know, everybody says that when they're little, like, oh, the time goes by so fast. And in the moment when they're like cranky, like little kids, you're like, oh, I don't know if it could go fast enough. And then you blink your eyes and like they're older and they're in college or going to be graduating. So hello, Brenda. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I look great. I feel it's really dark in here. So that's really sweet of you to say. Thank you very much. You look great too, Brenda. Even though I can't see you, I'm sure you look fabulous this morning also. So um, yeah, so anyway, I just, like I was kind of explaining, I kind of backed off on my business. I maybe haven't been holding quite as many events. I haven't been doing quite as many Facebook Lives, kind of in an effort to just, you know, spend as much time with my family and take care of myself and and all those other things that I kind of wasn't able to do quite as much of that I wanted to be able to devote time to. So thank you guys for helping give me that one big final push to meet my sales goal. Um, I just, I can't say thank you enough. So with that being said, we have, we're going to do this in just a little bit, but we have our, I, I found another one. I have four in your words stamp sets that we're going to be giving away on today's Facebook Live. So I've got names of every single person that put an online order in or emailed me with an order of at least $30. Your name is in the drawing to win one of these in your words stamp sets. So 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so very, very much for your orders. I truly appreciate, hello, Teresa, your support um, of my business and throughout the year too. I mean, I kind of put that call out there to help, right, in the last week or two, but honestly, I could not have done it without every single one of you all year long, all of your support, putting your orders in. That's the Honestly, that's the best way you can say thank you for, you know, Facebook Lives. If you enjoy them, I truly appreciate that you enjoy them. And I hope I'm inspiring you too to want to play with things in your craft room and forget about the ugly, dreary, rainy days like today that we have. So thank you. Thank you so very, very much, you guys. I just, um, I felt so, yeah, just grateful, honestly, so humbled and grateful for all of your support so thank you thank you thank you thank you i feel like i can't say it enough seriously like oh my goodness you guys are amazing okay so let's see what else i, I just knew i had to like um talk about that as much as i could um so let's see oh i know one thing that i want to and i haven't been very good about sharing about this is we have something and i kind of printed off this pretty flyer here the kids collection so this is something they changed the way they're doing things. And this is just kind of a little flyer um, from the Stampin' Up! website that shows kind of a preview of some of the kits that we have available. What's different about it is that they're not in any of the catalogs. They're only online. So I have neglected them a little bit because it's honestly for me, if I don't see it, like if you guys saw my craft room, everything is out because then I see it and I'll be like, oh, I want to play with that or that or that. I don't have anything tucked away in cupboards or drawers or anything like that because if I do, it'll never get used. So same kind of idea with since I wasn't seeing the kits in the catalog, um, I kind of forgot about them. So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew too. Um, basically online is where you're going to want to go. There are a bunch of different kits. These are, so in addition to paper pumpkin kits, these are additional kits that we have for sale. They have a bunch of different kits available and they're changing too. That's why they didn't put anything in like print for the whole year because once a kit sells out, then it sells out and then they come up with another one. So um, basically you just have to go online to see what kits are available. But hello, Deb. The fun thing is that they just, oh my gosh, I feel like I need my glasses, but I will not put them on in front of you guys because I have to wear them down here and I look kind of funny. I already do it on my Facebook Lives for my team and I'm like, oh, I can't do it on this one too. Hey, Philomena, thank you for sharing the video too. Welcome. Thank you for hanging out with me today. So yeah, so we have a new kit. I'm going to try to squint my eyes. It's called the Love Santa Tag Kit and it is super duper cute. So I printed this flyer. Oh, I didn't realize it was on the back. Also, you guys maybe were seeing. I'm going to kind of try to zoom in so you can see these super cute little tags. So kind of gift tags that you could make for the holidays. They actually have another um, kit that you can get with it that has a bunch of different gift bags like little cello clear cello with printing on them like we have had in the past so super cute little tags and gift bags also so my point in kind of telling you all this is i think these kits are a great thing to think about for gifts for people maybe somebody that is you know seeing you making all these cute things and it was like oh you know maybe i might like to get into that these kits are an awesome way to kind of introduce somebody to stamping you can even get together and put the kit together with them they generally come thank you deb for sharing the video they generally come with a stamp set and little ink spots they give you directions there are usually videos that tell you how to put them together also so depending on how you learn best whether you like to read something on the flyer or you like to watch a video um, lots of different ways to kind of um, get your instruction on how to put things together or honestly a lot of times they're pretty simple so you can even just kind of look at it and know how to do it so great gift ideas as we are kind of heading into that holiday season right um, awesome time to be thinking about our kits like I said just go to stampinup.com I will also post the link to the kits specifically if you go to stampinup.com and just click on shop one of the little things on the left hand side um, is kits so if you click on that you'll be able to see all the kits that are available and like I said I will include the link to the kits online in the details above this YouTube video after or excuse me I always say that after this Facebook live video after I get it posted this afternoon okay so yeah lots of awesome kits and this these tags these little Christmas tags are so super duper cute so I think you're gonna love those too I always love um, like having cute gift tags you know to put on presents and things also so that'd be another you could just put them on a present too so something to think about 
Um, oh, okay, another quick announcement. So typically I do my Simple Beautiful Car class on the second Friday of the month, which is actually today. Um, so I bumped it um, to next Friday because I've decided I don't like to do Facebook Lives and car class at the same time because it's just like too much chaos. And usually I end up having something here that I'm using on Facebook Live that I need um, you know, to, for the card class. So it just gets too confusing. So anyway, I decided I was doing Facebook Live this Friday and then I'm gonna do my Simple Beautiful Card class next Friday. So we're at the Peace Lutheran Church right here in Alma. If you're local and would like to come make cards with us, it's Friday afternoon, October 15th from 1 to 3 p.m. So I love to have you join us. Uh, I think, let's do our first. I'm like, I've got my little, you guys can't see my paper, can you, right? I don't know how anybody does this without their notes. I would totally forget something. There's stuff everywhere. So we're gonna do our first drawing, okay? So we have the super fun, The they're called the Cute Stars Adhesive Bath Sequence. So they come in kind of an orange, a purple Highland Heather, and a black. So pumpkin pie, um, Highland Heather, and black. Let's see. Um, oh, yes, Deb is saying she's got lots of grandchildren and nieces. It would be a great gift, yes, for kids too. I, I should have said that also, because they're generally simple enough, or you know, if, if they're young, you can help them, right? So if they're older and they can read and they wanna do it on their own, that's awesome, but it'd be a fun something to do with your kids, with your grandkids, nieces, nephews. Um, yeah, great idea, Deb. Thank you for uh, posting that and suggesting that too. So, okay. All right, yeah, lots of good stuff online. Just go to stampinup.com and click on the shop. I always include that link to um, um, above the details to this Facebook Live video too, so you'll be able to find it there also. Okay, so here we go. Our first, well, I guess our winner of the cute stars, the piece of back sequence. I'm trying to like, they kind of get bunched up and I always have to like spread them out and make sure everyone gets a fair chance. So, okay, our winner, Miss Jenny Bothman. All right, congratulations, Jenny. You are the proud new owner of the cute stars adhesive back sequence. So I will get those to you, my lady. Okay, here, hold on. I've got to dump those out because I have a bunch of entries I need to put in. I don't normally get this many online orders, so I put my the names in there. We'll do that drawing in just a little bit, but that was really fun. I had I got to write lots of little slips of paper with people's names on them for your online order. So thank you guys so much. Again, I'm going to say that like five million times because I just was so blown away by your generosity. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So this next Facebook Live. So like I said, I will have card class next Friday the 15th. So the following Friday on October 22nd, we will be doing the, our next Facebook Live and we will be giving away the genial gems. I love these sparkly little gems. These are great because they, they, I always say you can kind of bend the colors. So they're kind of, I think it might be mint macaron and is it pale papaya? I'm not even exactly sure, but I love, basically they're green and orange. And so they are great for even like fall projects too. I think you can put them with like leaves and things. Um, the green would be great on like a sparkly Christmas tree also. So I kind of look at them at first and I think, oh, they're more of like a summery kind of thing, but I have found um, lots of fun uses for them for like fall and um, holiday time too. So share the video, sign up for my email list. I didn't even mention that, right? I always try to mention that. So yeah, share this Facebook Live video anytime between now and the Wednesday before our next Facebook Live at midnight and your name will go in the drawing. Or if you have not signed up for my email list, go ahead and do that and your name will be in the drawing also. And we will give, give away the genial gems on our next Facebook Live. Okay, scoot those out of the way. You know me, I'm always like trying to stay organized even though that... <laughs> You wouldn't think so by looking. <laughs> so, okay. Um, oh, so I want to give a shout out and a welcome. We have two more new team members, two Inkspired Stampers who just bought the starter kit at the kind of slid in at the last minute at the end of celebration, got that awesome, awesome, awesome celebration starter kit deal. They got to pick $125 in product and they got a free bundle out of the holiday catalog and they only paid $99 plus sales tax. So in Michigan, that was only $104.94. If they were to have ordered all of that all on their own, just like putting an order in, it would be over $200. So they saved, I think I figured this out, they saved like $110 if they got that most expensive bundle um, from the holiday catalog. So I want to welcome Miss Judy Falk 
and Miss Jane Anderson. They both took advantage of that starter kit, got that awesome deal. They are now part of our team, part of our Inkspired Stampers. So welcome ladies and congratulations on getting that starter kit. And now they get 20% off of every order that they put in um, after they got the starter kit. So congratulations, Judy and Jane, and welcome to both of you. So very sweet, Philomena. <laughs> I love that too. And then we actually had a one of our team members, Maria Warren, just reached qualified team member status. So what that means is she, after she got the starter kit, she got her first $900 in orders um, put in and she did that really, really quickly. So she actually reached the first quick start level, which if you do, uh, it's in your first full three months. So for example, if you bought the kit in August, you would have September, October, and November. So those three full months to put $900 in orders in in order to qualify for the first quick start level. So Maria did that already. She already has her $900 in sales in, reached that first quick start level. So she gets a, I think it's a $50 shopping spree from Stampin' Up. She can get whatever she want, wants on her next demonstrator order. So congratulations to Miss Maria for reaching qualified team members. She also is halfway to her bronze elite promotion where she'll earn 25% income or 25% discount on everything that she orders. So she's doing an awesome job and we just wanna congratulate Miss Maria on working hard and getting those orders in so quickly already. So congratulations, Miss Maria. So yeah, lots of good stuff happening. Now that, that happens a lot of times too, right at the end of our Stampin' Up year, which is September 30th. Cause the other fun thing is whatever um, title you're at, once you become a demonstrator, get your starter kit, right? Whatever title you're at on September 30th, you get to keep that title for a whole nother year. They kind of call it, they call it retitling. Um, so, oops, I'm getting like a, um, a text and I'm like actually trying to read it and I don't want to. <laughs> I'm like gotta swipe that away. <laughs> All right, I'll have to check that out later. Um, so yeah, so I think I was done with whatever my my thought was, I'm pretty sure. So, okay, yeah, okay, I think we're good. I don't know, if I, if I didn't finish my thoughts, somebody type on here and let me know what I should have finished saying, but I think I, I think I said it all. So, okay, um, let's see what else. Oh, and I have to show. So Maria sent me a couple of cute cards. She um, ordered one of the class to go kits and she sent this super cute, I have to show you guys this little thank you card. Aren't those, the rain boots, those are perfect on a day like today, right? And that beautiful thank you, I love that. Um, that kind of cursive scrolly work. And I think, did she decorate the inside too? Yes, yeah, she put some more. Um, little boots on the inside there too. So thank you. This was a beautiful card that I received from Maria. She does beautiful stamping. And then she actually sent a birthday card too, which I think I got this a little, I think I did, well, let me say, <laughs> I'm not very good about checking my mail, which that actually makes me think I probably should do that. I haven't done that in a few days. Okay, I try to remember that now too. <laughs> um, anyway, so I think um, I probably got this right after my last Facebook Live, and so I was very excited to share because this is such a pretty card too. These are some products that we had from this stamp set, the Magnolia stamp set is still available. This designer series paper was from last year. And then those are some pretty little um, flowers too, but isn't that a beautiful happy birthday card also? And she, um, on the inside, her sentiment says, your birthday came, your birthday went, here's the card I should have sent. And so she says, happy belated birthday. So that was very sweet. She did a little stamping on the inside there too. So thank you, Maria. There were be two beautiful cards in the mail from you. So the power of a handmade card right here, ladies, I tell you. And oh, she's got her little handmade by Maria. I'm just seeing like her little stamp on the back. So cute. I love those personalized stamps also. So yes, so the birthday just kind of continued for a while. So thank you guys, I appreciate that. Okay, let me scoot those out of the way. Um, I think we are ready. Are you guys ready? We're gonna do our drawing now. I wanna kind of do a quick recap. So anybody that either emailed me or put an online order in of at least $30 is automatically going to receive, let me make sure these aren't upside down, these two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live right here with that encircled in warmth stamp set, right? Automatically, everyone gets these two cards as a thank you from me. If they bumped their order up to $50, they get to pick from either the, oops, 
demo design dream team PDF tutorial. It's kind of a mess here, right? But we've got 16 different, can I flip? My hands are not gonna work very well today. We'll kind of try. Why can't I get a hold of it? Maybe I'll go this way, right? Okay, so 16 different projects. You can see full color, there we go. Lots of instructions and detail. These were actually, for October, these are 3D projects. So those are super fun, I can't wait. I have like actually not even looked at this one. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to check those out myself. I think I'll be having lots of fun with those. Always new, need new ideas for my um, club member treats too. So I'll be checking that out. So again, with your $50 order, you get to pick from either the Damo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishments, which are the brushed metallic adhesive backed dots. And then you also got a celebration choice, right? Plus, your name is in the drawing to win one of these four in your words stamp sets. So here we go, ladies. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure. I've got more notes here and I'm like, what was this note? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. So I've got lots of names in here. Like I said, anybody ordered, that ordered over $30 online or emailed to me, your name is in here in the drawing to win one of these amazing stamp sets. Okay, so we're going to pick four different names. I guess I'm going to have to maybe I have to set this down a little bit, aren't I? Okay, which is fine. Oops. Oh, no, there are a whole bunch of them all like stuck together. Hold on. I got to... And I can't look. I can't be like looking down because I don't want anybody thinking I'm like picking people's names, right? Okay, so here we go. I have two in my hand. Now I have one in my hand. Okay, so first winner, Miss Nikki. And Nikki, I'm not even sure how to say, I'm gonna say Ponchi, but I don't even know how I say your last name. So Nikki, congratulations. You have just won one of the In Your Words stamp sets. Okay, next we have, oh, this is so fun. Oh my gosh, I love that I get to pick four different names. You guys, I'm super excited about this. Okay, next we have Rose Castellan. All right, congratulations, Rose. I will get that stamp set to you as well. Okay, two more, ladies. Let's see, oh my gosh. This is so, I'm like, oh, it's like the price is right or something, this is so fun. Okay, next one, Miss Kathleen Carroll. All right, congratulations, Kathleen. And last stamp set, okay, I'm gonna shake these around. Oh my goodness, last one, last one. Okay, we're like separating them all out here. Okay, and I have one more name goes to Miss Kay Jacoby. All right, congratulations, ladies. I will get all of those stamp sets sent out to you. And again, thank you so very, very much for your generosity and your support. It truly means so much to me. Um, just that I, I think I didn't, maybe understand um, kind of how many people I was reaching either because only you know a handful of people kind of pop on on Facebook live um, and so I think a lot of people watch later or they're getting my emails and I think I'm just I, I was amazed at how many more people I'm reaching than I knew I was reaching to so thank you guys so very 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 much yeah okay so on our next Facebook Live, and I have, this is on order. I don't have it here yet, so I'm gonna show you in the catalog, but I love this stamp set. It's called the Well Defined Stamp Set. And it's funny because um, there's not a lot of wow in like the look of the stamp set, but I have to read you guys the sentiments because I think they're so fun. Nikki, you just won. I just called your name. You won one of the In Your Words stamp set. So congratulations. All right, so this stamp set, we've got the to and the from, so that's always needed, right? And then the other definitions are super cute. So Halloween says, when taking candy from strangers is good and dressing normally is strange. That's a fun one, right? Holiday, a reason to eat more, like that one, right? I might have to like, <laughs> that's my motto these days. <laughs> you're welcome, Nikki, you're welcome. How about Christmas? The time of year where the presence of family is better than the presence of family, right? Ooh, good like play on words there. Gratitude, the feeling in my heart when I think about you. Oh, that's awesome, right? And then winter, when it's cold outside but thoughts of you will keep me warm. So awesome sentiments in there, right? So again, like I said, I think um, once you read them, you kind of, you get the wow of them because they're really kind of fun definitions. So that is what we'll be giving away on our next Facebook Live. 
um, if you put at least a $30 order in, your name will be in the drawing to win the well-defined stamp set on our next Facebook Live. Okay, scooting that out of the way, I think. Let me check my notes. I think we are ready because I've got a couple more things, but I'm going to turn the camera down. Yeah, I think we're good. Just trying to make sure here. Okay, yes. Uh, so oh, this poor boy is walking. Oh, he's like soaked. He doesn't have an umbrella. He's just walking in the rain. Okay, sorry. That was like distracting. Okay, he'll be fine. He'll get a towel and he'll dry off. I'm sure he'll be fine. But okay. All right, turn your heads away. We're going to fly through the air and we will have some more fun this afternoon. This morning, it is still, oh, it's still barely morning. Okay, let's see. I guess that is okay. It almost looked like it was a little, um, like is it, yeah. Okay, good, we're all right, good, okay. Okay, good, 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 good. So, I wanna show you guys real quick. I have some scrapbook pages to share with you guys. So let's see, we're gonna start with some fall pages. Try to get myself organized. Okay, so this, is one of the pages that we made at scrapbook class. Oh, the lighting is so weird. Okay, well, anyway, that's how it goes, right? Okay, so love this, and you're actually gonna recognize this because, um, well, I'll show you in a minute why you're gonna recognize that, but I love, this is that um, Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. This was one that I used on some cards um, a couple of weeks ago, and it was that paper that, I, it didn't catch my eye at first because it's kind of so soft and subtle, and you guys can see. Here's the other, so my other coordinating page, right? This is some more of the designer series paper. Love all of the ribbon and the accents, some of those brushed metallic dots on there. And some of the fun ribbon, this is um, just jade and gold ribbon there too. So, and then this says, you know that you are loved, right? So beautiful, right? Love those pages. And we actually, so for example, we always make three pages. So we make a single page spread so this one, this month, and then we'll make the second half of that spread um, in October. And then another two-page spread. Let me show you guys that right now. And this one features, let's see, we'll go this one first, right? This is the super fun, the... Um, is it Peaceful Prince? Isn't that crazy how like my mind is already blanked out? Um, but the designer series paper that was free during celebration, we used some of the black glitter paper to make our snowflakes. You guys can see that one there and then some more of the paper there. So those two kind of coordinating pages. So great ideas. I this These are on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com if you want more details on um, what I use to make these pages. You can check those out there. And then my fall pages, those will be up shortly on my blog. So you can get details on those very soon as well. Okay, so one more thing I want to show you guys, and then we can start doing our stamping. So I have another awesome class to go. Do I have everything here? I guess this one goes in here too, right? Okay, so this is called the Encircled in Warmth class to go. So featuring the Encircled in Warmth stamp set, which I love. This is my favorite, I think, because I love that font right there. Wishing you love, joy, and happiness this coming year. Let it snow, you warm my heart. Warm Christmas wishes and joyful season. So beautiful. Oh, it says... She's saying I keep cutting out. Yeah, it might be the weather. Although, okay, it's not raining quite as hard and actually is a little bit brighter. So that's nice. <laughs> Thank goodness, right? So, okay. So yes, awesome stamp set. And then there are a set of dies that coordinate. These are actually in the annual catalog and bundled with a different stamp set. I showed you that on my YouTube video about this um, class to go. So I won't repeat all of that again this time. But the fun thing is look at all these beautiful like kind of medallions and I used a bunch of them on these cards. I love this though and I didn't do this and I kind of wish I would. So this will cut that shape out. If you want to just use um, like this right here, if you put that on a piece of paper, it cuts all of this detail out, but it doesn't actually cut this. So if you could put it on like a, you know, a four by five and a quarter piece of paper and then put this on there and it'll cut all that detail out so you can kind of see behind it. It does cut the circle too, so you can put something in the middle also. So just a beautiful set of dies. I love all the detail. They are great for holiday cards, but they're 
great rate for all year round too. They actually pair this with kind of an all occasion stamp set in the annual catalog. So, okay, we also have a bolt of the mesh metallic ribbon and some rhinestones and then foil, the silver foil paper and the peaceful place designer series paper. You get a quarter of that quarter pack. Okay, so let me let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you the different options that are available. You guys know this though, right? We always, we make four cards, generally, we make four cards in my class to go and you get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards plus the tutorial that tells you how to put them together. So I'm gonna show you, here's the first Let It Snow and you guys see that beautiful designer series paper stamped on the inside of that one. There's, you guys can really see that ribbon there too, right? This one, you warm my heart. Love that medallion piece, right? This one opens this way and I stamped on the inside of that one too. Warm Christmas wishes with some more of that fun mesh ribbon. And then I used a little strip of designer series paper on the inside of that one. And then the joyful season and look at all that detail. Isn't that awesome? The silver foil and then another little strip of designer series paper in there. So those four cards, so beautiful kind of monochromatic but just, oh, like snowy, wintry looking cards. Beautiful, right? Okay, so option number one includes the stamp set and the dies. It includes a full bolt of the mesh ribbon, a full package of the rhinestones. You get a quarter of a pack of the Peaceful Place. Yeah, Peaceful Place designer series paper. And then you get a half a pack of the silver foil sheets. I also have some extra celebration items left over. I got some, some extra ones basically. So if you order option number one, you can still pick a free celebration choice. Options could be a little bit limited depending on when you were to order the class to go kit, but just send me, just let me know which celebration choice you would like and I will let you know if I have it. So option number one. Oh, and you actually get the designer series paper for free in option number. Nope. I'm sorry. It's the foil sheets, the silver foil sheets. You get that half a pack of silver foil sheets free with option number one. Like I said, plus celebration choice. So it's $92 for option number one. Then option number two is if you already have the stamp set and dies, don't get option number two if you don't have these things because you won't be able to do your stamping or your die cutting. I give you all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, the ribbon, the rhinestones, the DSP, and the foil, plus the PDF tutorial. So option number two is $36. Um, $9 additional shipping for priority mail shipping. And let's see, option number three is the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put everything together. You're gonna to do it all on your own. You just wanna know how to do it. Option number three is $15. It's free to any of my current Inkspired Stampers members, so they get all my PDF tutorials for free, including the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorials as well. Every single month, they can get those for free. And then option number four is also for my downline. They get the parts and pieces for the make and takes for just $12. Okay, let's see. Um, RSVPs are due two weeks from today on Friday, October 22, and the kits will ship out no later than November 3. So you'll have lots of time to put your cards together in time for the holidays. Okay, and actually one more quick plug, right? So you can also make these two cards, right? Since I showed you these on our last Facebook Live, these also feature the Encircled in Warmth stamp set too. So love this stamp set. So many great sentiments in there. Okay, I think we are, are you guys ready to do your some stamping? I want to, let me get all of this. Let me just give you the host code while I get settled. We have a new host code for the month of October. The PBXVDRC9 is our host code for this month, okay? There we go, so you got that. That'll probably have to get scooted up out of the way, won't it? It will, because I need to make sure that we are in view here, right? And this and this. Okay, so I didn't even tell you guys what we were playing with, did I? I kind of didn't want to spoil it. Hmm. Sorry, I had to get a sip of water, okay. So if you remember my scrapbook page, um, I love this birch stamp set. So we are playing with background stamps today because I don't play with them very often. And I had a couple of them that have been calling my name like, Amy, we want you to come play with us. So I'm like, okay, here we go. We are going to use background stamps. So this is the first one that we are going to make a beautiful, and I love, this sentiment is from a stamp set that came out last year um, in our holiday catalog. And 
it's just one of my most favorite sentiments, the happy fall, y'all. I just think that's so cute. So that is from the Banner Year stamp set. So this is one, like I said, came out in last year's holiday catalog. So it's been around for a little while. If you don't have it, just so many cute little images, right? And some fun sentiments in there too. This is in our annual catalog is where you'll find that. And then here is our Birch background stamp that we're going to use for our stamping. Okay, so let's get things. Deb, you're still saying it's cutting in and out. So maybe, it, I don't know, it's either the wetter, the wetter, <laughs> the wet weather, <laughs> or maybe it's your um, internet provider too. There's that possibility also. So hopefully that stops, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give you dimensions. We have a Misty Moonlight sheet of cardstock that measures, this is the 11 and this is the eight and a half, right? Full sheet of Misty Moonlight cardstock. We cut it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, right? And then we scored it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, okay? So we're gonna make a tall card like that today, okay? And then we have a piece of crumb cake cardstock that measures three and three quarter by five inches. That's gonna go on there. And then we're gonna stamp on this basic white piece that measures three and a half by four and three quarters. While I'm thinking of it, I will include all of the colors, the dimensions, item codes of everything that we use on these cards today on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I'll get that all uploaded this afternoon, okay? And then we just have some, um, pieces, like scrap pieces of crumb cake, soft succulent, misty moonlight, and basic white to do our stamping and die cutting, okay? So let's do, we're gonna do our birch background stamp first. So let's see, we, I have my huge clear block. I don't use this very often, right? Cause like I said, I don't um, use um, my background stamps as much as I should. So this is clear block F. I was just looking at that little letter on there. Okay, so here's our birch background stamp. We're just gonna peel that baby off and put it right on there. I'm gonna grab my little scrap piece of paper and that way I won't get ink all over my, my good grid paper. I'll get it on a little scrap piece of grid paper. I think it's easiest to ink this with the stamp basically on its back, so just laying on your table. This is my crumb cake ink and I'm just going to Kind of lightly. I'm trying not to get it all around the edges, although I guess that's not really going to matter because my um, basic white cardstock is smaller than the size of this stamp. Oh, I guess I got ink all over me. Okay, I'm like licking my fingers <laughs> trying to get it off. Okay, so I'm going to lay my basic white onto my little scrap paper. And the kind of fun thing is, if it's not straight, that's really not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna lay that down, and I'm gonna press firmly to get all of my ink off. And there we go. Very cool, huh? I actually think that should be at the bottom there. So that's how that's gonna go, right? Isn't that so cool? Love that, right? So there's my birch background stamp. Oh, love, love, love these background stamps. And actually right now, I am going to clean this off because I need this clear block for my other okay so for my for my next card so we're just going to clean this off right now so you can see how easy that is to do right with your stamp and scrub okay I'll put that away for now okay so we've got that piece now we are going to stamp our sentiment, the happy fall, y'all, in our soft succulent ink. I know, I love that background stamp too, and I hadn't used it much at all, so I was excited to do that. There we go, happy fall, y'all. <laughs> I, I think I'm just gonna like say that. It's like gonna be my little motto right now. Okay, um, dyes are right here in front of my face. Okay, so let's get this one out of the way. Here, hold on, let me grab my cut and emboss machine and then I'll show you. I wonder if we can fit all these on. I think we might be able to. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so we've got, I'm gonna go that one there, that one there, that one, and that one. Okay, there we go. Linda, oh, horrible internet. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That is a bummer. I hope it's not mine. I don't, it's funny because, not funny, but I'm not seeing anything like showing up here 
that there is a problem. So I'm sorry, guys, if that is the case. So we have, these are, let me show you, these are the pretty pillow box dies. So great set of dies, and then I love, like we've got this little label, and then that little label right there, and then that little tag too. So fun little extras in that, that set of dies. Okay, so we're gonna do that one there. I'll fix that in just a sec. And then my favorite, I still love these. These are in our annual catalog also, the Stitched Leaves dies. I've used these so much. So we're gonna use this big one. Yes, I know I really like that background stamp too, Linda. Okay, that one and that one and that one. Okay. All right, sorry we're having so much trouble with the internet, ladies. That is a big bummer. The birds are chirping and the sun is coming out, so hopefully that means good things for us. Okay, I'm trying to get these things lined up. I guess it's my, um, there, okay. Oh. <laughs> the birds are just chirping away. I know you guys can't hear it, but, but they are, okay. We're gonna be really lucky if these things all stay where I put them, ladies. Oh my goodness. And then I go and bump it. But you know what? The kind of cool thing is, even if they're not perfect, that's okay because, especially with the leaves, I would like to get this guy straight. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the leaves, you know, if the stitching isn't absolutely like perfect, that's okay because in nature, right, leaves aren't always made perfectly. Okay, good, I think we got all of that though. So, love this little baby, oops. Isn't that so cute with the stitching there too, right? Okay, do that one. And then oh, I have to show you guys because this sentiment is fun too. See, it's got the stitching around that. So cute, isn't it? Super duper cute. Okay, and then another leaf. And I didn't, I don't know why that's so long. I tend to not, like I don't need that whole big long thing. So, oops. There's that one with the stitching too. And one more, we've got our crumb cake piece. Let's pop these out and you guys can see this one too. There, awesome, huh? Love all of that stitching. Okay, so I think we're done with that. So we can start putting things together, ladies. Okay, so we're gonna, oops, I wanna get that back over there so I don't lose it. You guys see, I haven't been having trouble with my um, adhesive anymore. I'm so ha now I'm probably jinxing myself because I said that, but generally because I'm tipping back up. Uh, and you guys saw how I did that, right? If I lose it, I just go back to where I have the adhesive and helps pick it back up. But if you tip it back like that, there's something about that. It just breaks the adhesive. So glad to have finally learned how to use this. Okay, so we are gonna add adhesive here, and here, and here, and here, and one more actually. There we go, okay. So we are gonna put this leaf on here first, about like that. We're gonna put that one right there, put that one right there, and then I'm gonna add a couple of little mini dimensionals behind my sentiment, okay? Yes, oh, you like the colors, <laughs> me too. Something a little different, and this was inspired by that Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. Um, this color palette was something a little different than we normally see, right, during fall time. Okay, where's my ribbon? Right in front of my face, okay? So we have, what is this called? This is the diamond weave ribbon. So you can kind of see the idea why it's called a diamond weave, right? You see the diamonds in there? So beautiful and really um, thick, sturdy, kind of a vanilla colored ribbon here. Very, very pretty, perfect for our fall projects as well. There we go, make our little bow. Okay. I am going to just snip that right there, okay? Snip that ribbon out of the way. Now, because it's pretty sturdy, I'm gonna use a couple of glue dots behind this baby because I want it to really stick. 
to my card. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of those. I'm going to add that right to there. And then final finishing touch. Okay, you guys are in view. All of a sudden I was like, have I been like, <laughs> can you guys see what I'm doing? I hope you can. Where are we? Here we are. So the brushed metallic adhesive back dots, which I think these are on back order, but they're supposed to come in anytime now. So I wouldn't worry too much. If you put an order in, um, it just might take a sec before they come to you. But we're gonna add, these are the copper. I thought this was like kind of the perfect accent. These copper, put that one right there. So there we go. Oh, and I always like to kind of curl these up. I see sometimes um, can be kind of fun to like crinkle them all up. I just kind of want to curl those up a little bit like that just to give a little bit more kind of texture and dimension to the card. So there we go, ladies. Card number one. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. I am going to, I want to just clean this stamp off again with my little stamp and scrub. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like that one. Sharon, hello. I just see your name popping up on there. Okay, so let's scoot those out of the way. But again, banner year and birch stamp set are what we used on those cards right there. Okay, next. Make my clear block ready. We have another fun, how about this background stamp? Did you guys know? Because the fun thing about background stamps is they kind of look like you've made your own designer series paper. So love this candy cane. Isn't that so fun? This was a gift that we received, this candy cane background stamp. We got that when we were in Maui, actually, and I hadn't used it yet. So this was another one. I'm like, oh, again, I just have to use my fun background stamp. So candy cane background stamp, and then I used the Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set, the have a holly jolly Christmas as my sentiment on that stamp set there. Okay, so let's see, we've got, so again, I've got my big clear block. What did I say? It was clear block F and my background stamp. Oops, trying to make sure that's on there. There we go. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Then let's grab a couple more things here. show you guys. Oh, and my favorite, sorry, I just bumped that. It's like bopping all over the place. One of my favorite um, color combinations, Coastal Cabana and Real Red. There's just something about those two colors together. So fun and bright and happy. I remember um, we've used them like at holiday time and at Valentine's Day time. Um, so love, I was one of those, like I was, I knew I was going to use the red because of the candy canes. So I'm like, oh, what color? And I was going to put it with black. And then I thought, oh no, I haven't used this color combination in a while. So I'm excited to use it again. Again, um, Coastal Cabana and Real Red cardstock. So we have our Coastal Cabana card base. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's our card base. Next, we have a piece of Real Red cardstock. And this one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. So that's just gonna go right on there. And then we have our basic white cardstock and then this one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth and that's how you just get that little bit of red peeking up behind it and then some scrap pieces of real red and basic white for our tag right there okay so again let's do our um stamping on our background we'll do that one first okay so we've got our little scrap piece again I've got my white cardstock and i need my real red ink Okay, actually, we'll just put that right on there. So real red ink. Again, I'm going to just lay that stamp right down on its back. And we're going to ink our little candy canes up. So cute, you guys. Okay. Now, I need to make sure, because last time, <laughs> you guys will never know, but on the back of this card, I got it inked from like that far over, and there was like this strip right here that didn't have um, any candy canes on it. So I'm going to try, I'm going to be more careful this time and make sure I actually like lay this down. Hopefully I covered it. If not, you just pick up your piece of paper, turn it over, and try it again. All right, that looks good. So I did, look at, I got that teeny tiny little strip there, but I don't think you really noticed that. But you know what? Just in the interest of showing you guys how easy this is to do, let's just do that. We'll see. We'll see which one is better, okay? So, and you guys can also see 
how um, thick our basic white, just our regular, not even the thick, but our regular basic white cardstock is, that even though I've got this red ink like all over everywhere, let me make sure, there we go, that you can't see it. Like when you um, put it on a card, you can't even see. Let's see if I did a better job. Yeah, there we go. It's funny because that keeps happening on both sides. There's that one little candy cane that I didn't quite ink up, but we're gonna cover that with our um, tag, so it's not a big deal. Okay, there we go. So we've got, isn't that awesome? Like, look at that. We just made our own um, designer series paper, our own candy cane designer series paper. Okay, so next I'm gonna grab my Coastal Cabana ink pad and I'm gonna stamp my, have a holly jolly Christmas. This might be upside down. It is, that's okay. There we go. Hello, Debbie watching from Southwest Michigan. It's great to have you on here with us today. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do our die cutting of these two pieces. Grab my die cutting machine again here we go all right so we are using these are called the tailor-made tags dies so i always put these two in the back here so i know which ones i'm using okay so you can kind of see we've got a couple of different sizes and shapes on the tag so i like that little guy there so you've got kind of a straight edge and then a little bit of a scallop edge there too, right? So we're gonna use these two with a little bit of the scallop edge, okay? All right, so let's see. We've got that one and that one. Okay, so we're gonna put that one there. This one I want to go this way. The other one, as long as I get on the red cardstock, it doesn't matter if it's lined up or not. But that one with the sentiment, we wanna make sure it's lined up. Okay. Looks like I need some new cutting plates, too. <laughs> or one, at least. I've cracked this one. Sometimes I just do a lot of die cutting, trying to get ready for the to-go kits and things. Okay, so there we go. There's the first one. Can you guys see? Love that. It cuts out the little hole in there, too, if you want to use it as a tag. I just love kind of using it, like, to create a little banner for us. And then same thing. Can you guys kind of see that one there, too? Isn't that so cute? I covered it up with my bow so you can't see kind of that little edge there now that I'm looking at that, huh? That's okay though. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot that out of the way. All right, so now we can start putting this card together. All right, so we might as well put our tag together right now. There we go. Oh, I got some ink on my, <laughs> I was trying so hard, but apparently that red, you know, just bleeds, doesn't it, right? Okay, we'll add some dimensionals behind this guy. We'll just do that right now. Two, three, put four dimensionals on the back of that one. Okay, so now we can put these pieces together, right? All right, so we're going to add our candy cane homemade designer series paper to our red piece. Now we're actually gonna grab a strip of, this is real red double, stitch, double stitched satin ribbon. And I kind of liked it at an angle. So we're just gonna cut that, gonna run it like right there and there. So we're just gonna put a little strip and we're gonna just tack it on the back. Okay, so the hardest part is keeping it at an angle. I found that the last time. Ended up almost making it kind of straight. So let's see. If we go like that there. Is that going to do it? There. It's like against my nature to go angled like that, right? <laughs> but you can do it, Amy. You can do it. All right. We're going to add some more adhesive on the back here and here. There we go. Make sure that ribbon stays on there tight. Let's fold our card base in half and we're going to add this piece right on there okay there we go next peel off our dimensionals and we'll add our sentiment have a holly jolly christmas we'll put that one right there then we have my favorite i still love this kind of bending this color too this is pool party uh sheer ribbon but i think it it looks a lot like um coastal cabana too especially like the sheer nature of it i think you can kind of make it brightened up a little bit 
This one's a really easy to work with too. These sheer ribbons are just so nice and so easy to work with. Okay, so we're gonna snip that off. We are going to grab another glue dot and kind of pop that on there, right? I'm gonna trim that down just a little bit, okay? Then, last step, you guys know me, I love my bling. Gotta have some sparkle on this card because I made this and I was like, okay, it needs a little something else. What can I do? And then, of course, I found my sparkly blue adhesive back to gems and I was like, these are perfect. So we are just gonna add a couple of little gems. We're gonna put one there and one there and we're gonna do one more big one right up there. And there we go. Love these things. They're so gorgeous. Okay, let me scoot this stuff out of the way, right? So there we go. Card number two made with our background stamps. Aren't those so fun? Have a holly jolly Christmas. And then we've got the happy fall, y'all, right? Okay, so again, new host code for this month. We have the PBXVDRC9. Okay, so put a minimum $30 order in, which I, again, I truly appreciate your orders. So thank you guys. Keep them coming, honestly. I could use, instead of like scrambling at the last minute, so September 30th was the end of our year, love to not scramble next year. So thank you in advance for your orders. Truly appreciate them. As my thank you to you, you will get one of each of these cards. Um, as a thank you for me in the mail for your online order. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win. Where is my, I'm like, where's my, um, don't have my stamp, but here, you're going to win. You could win the well-defined stamp set, right, with your $30 order. Bump your order up to $50, and somewhere I have my PDF tutorial. You can pick from the PDF tutorial or, and I haven't even decided yet, October's um, free embellishment. You can pick either one of those. Sorry, I'm like a little flaky right now. <laughs> I just realized that. I'm like, oh, I got to get those ordered. So thank you guys so much for watching. So appreciate you hanging out with me today. And hopefully the internet shapes up and you guys weren't having too much trouble with that. So have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. We'll see you two weeks from today, October 22nd, I think it is, on our next Facebook Live. All right, bye. Thanks, everybody.